Is it wrong that I bought the shirt specifically because my husband was born in 1982 and I wanted to make him feel old? You tell me. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. So today's video was on my list of things that I wanted to talk about and create a video for eventually. And then one of my subscribers, Love Lola, asked if I could do this video so I'm making it a little bit sooner. Today I'm going to be talking about luxury brands and specifically Louis Vuitton, but I think Chanel is doing it as well. Moving from date codes to microchips as their form of like authenticity. I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard about this, I was just kind of like, eh, who cares? Um, and then I did some research on it and it turns out I've got opinions. <laughs> Without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with the video. Real quick, before we get into the video, if you've been watching my videos for a while now, or even if this is like the first one that you're clicking on, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, ring my bell, it's totally free. I do two videos a week, usually one about luxury fashion on Sundays and one about lifestyle or really whatever the heck I wanna talk about on Wednesdays. We have a lot of fun here on my channel, we don't take ourselves too seriously and we have a lot of laughs. So come on, come into the she shack, let's hang out. Okay, so if you're here, if you clicked on this video, you probably already know that Louis Vuitton and again, I think Chanel have moved away from authenticity cards and date codes as their form of deciding whether a bag is authentic or a fake to microchipping in their bags. I'm gonna tell you my first impressions when I first heard about this. I think I heard about it on YouTube. I may have like read it on Twitter or something like that. I didn't think much of it. I never paid too much attention to day codes and things like that anyway, because as I've mentioned before, I prefer to buy my things in the store. That way you know that it's real. So my first initial reaction was just like, oh cool, like that's awesome. I don't, I don't know, there's gonna be a microchip in my bag. Oh, cool, whatever. I honestly didn't really care. I knew I wanted to make a video talking about this and I was like, well, if I'm gonna talk about it, I should probably like research it. And it turns out I do have opinions on the matter. So I made myself like a little cheat sheet. So if you see me looking at it, it's just because I, I can't memorize things. So this information is just talking about the Louis Vuitton microchips. It's as of March 31st of this year, 2021. So any bag that you have bought um, after that day moving forward is not going to have the date code it's going to have the chip inside for authentication instead so just like the date codes could tell you things based on you know what they say and what they are whatever the chip would be able to tell you where the bag was made so what country and what factory description of the bag the style code when the bag was sold to whom the bag was sold so your customer details and what store it was sold from or the website and if it was in store which sales associate sold the bag so that is obviously a whole lot more information than you can get just from a date code again my first impression thought on that was that's pretty cool i mean that gives you you know a lot of information that you would need to know to make sure that the bag is real i think it was just like an inevitability that these brands would eventually move away from authenticity cards and date codes and move to something more technological the issue of not dupes but fakes is so real not only to the brand's bottom line but more importantly the human cost of fakes is so real that there was eventually going to be a push for something not as easily replicated as an authenticity card. For example, again, I've talked about this one before on my channel. I have a Lady Dior bag that I bought on eBay, 99% sure it's fake. That bag came with an authenticity card. Now I'm sure if I wanted to get it checked, I could take it to Dior or an authenticator or whatever, and they would probably tell me that it's not real. But to the naked eye, the simple-minded person that I am buying this on eBay, I thought, cool, it has an authenticity card. That must mean it's real. Using a chip instead takes that ability away from someone to just create an authenticity card and throw it in with a fake bag and sell it to you. So on the surface, that all sounds really good to me. Then I kind of thought about it. I realized, well, I read, and this makes total sense, I mean, honestly, but no one is going to be able to scan the microchip except for, like in the case of Louis Vuitton, an LVMH employee. You're not gonna be able to buy a bag from eBay or Fashion File or the Real Real and take it to Louis Vuitton and ask a sales associate to scan it for you, that they're not gonna allow that because that's gonna be a complete waste of their time. Their job is not to make sure that you're buying a real pre-loved bag. Their job is to sell you a new bag. Does the microchip really help 
as the consumer knowing whether the bag is real or not? No, it doesn't. And you would have really no way of knowing, especially because authenticators for places like Fashion File, they're not gonna be able to scan it either. And they're not gonna have the date codes. I mean, they'll have other things that they check because you know, they have a whole list of things that they check, but they're not gonna have the date codes anymore to verify or authenticate bags. They're gonna have this microchip that they, I mean, what? Like, first of all, you'd have to like rip the bag open to ensure that it's there and then you have no way of scanning it. I mean, I just, I can't imagine Louis Vuitton or Chanel or whoever making that technology, that, that intellectual property of however they go about scanning the chip available to, to, to third party sellers. Because again, they're in the business to make money. They're not, their job is not to make sure that things that are being sold on the pre-love market are real. Their job is to sell you a bag from their store. So I don't know, like I'm kind of conflicted on how I feel about this because it doesn't really do the customer any good. Nobody's gonna be able to or possibly be willing to authenticate their pre-love bag if the only people that would be able to do that are LVMH employees. I mean, I'm even just sitting here thinking like maybe there's some sort of like, if you buy the bag and they provide you with some sort of guarantee, but again, that's what they're trying to get rid of is getting rid of that. So that doesn't make any sense. So yeah, as far as it goes for the consumer, I'm not sure like how this really helps. If you're buying, looking to buy pre-loved, I think it's gonna make that that much harder but on the other side i totally get why the brands would want to do that because i don't know how many times i can say this their job is to sell you their bags <laughs> they want you to come to the store go online and buy the bags from them they don't make any money they don't make any extra money if someone buys the bag from them and then turns around and tries to resell it either way i understand it it sucks for the customers who want to go the pre-love route. It sucks for customers. I know that people, there are people out there who search for like certain date codes, like they're looking for a certain piece with a certain date code for something that means something sentimental to them. Like maybe it's like their wedding year or something like that. There are collectors that do that. So that takes that out from them. I think it'll also make any bags that were issued before March 31st of this year that still have the date codes, they're probably gonna become more valuable and they're gonna go up in price which also doesn't help the people who are trying to buy pre-loved. I really did have like a flow and plan for this video, but now that I'm talking, it's just, I'm, I'm finding myself flip-flopping back and forth and I can't really decide on what my opinion is. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that my opinion on this is kind of flip-floppy because if you're not worried about buying pre-loved, then it doesn't matter. There are so many instances of when it does though, especially with like Chanel, like man, there are so many like unicorn bags that, you just like, you probably have like no chance of getting in the store unless you work there or know someone who works there or have a really, really close relationship with your sales associate. That's gonna make that so much more difficult. And just, it's this microchipping is just gonna make it so much harder to know if they're real or not. But I still get it. I still get why the brands want to do this. I'm, I'm gonna stop thinking out loud and I'm just going to say that I think that overall, this is a move in the right direction. It's not a bad thing what they're doing because of how much of an issue fakes are. If we're just thinking about fakes being the enemy, this is one of the best things that the brands can do to combat that. And fakes are the enemy. <laughs> big time. I think that this is just like a brand new idea and a brand new form of technology for these brands. And to be fair, I am just speculating that there's gonna be no way for like authenticators to authenticate using the microchip. I mean, it makes sense that that technology would be proprietary to like, you know, just Chanel or just LVMH or Caring or whoever it may be. I feel like this could evolve into something that does work for everyone for now. It's something, it makes sense for the brands. It makes sense for their bottom line. As much as it sucks for the pre-loved market and the people who can only afford to buy pre-loved or prefer to buy pre-loved or whatever the case may be, if the brands aren't making money, if they're not able to sell their bags, if they're not able to hold the value of their bags and prevent fakes from flooding the market, there's gonna be nothing for you to buy pre-loved anyway. So I guess that's my ultimate opinion is that I'm pro 
microchip. I just hope that, one, that I'm wrong, that there will be an availability for authenticators outside of LVMH or Chanel or whatever to be able to use the microchip to authenticate a bag. And two, that if that's not the case, that this idea will evolve into something that doesn't hurt the brand's bottom line, but also doesn't hurt the consumer as well. That was, uh, yeah. This was a tough one. I really, like, I, I thought that I knew how I felt about this until I started talking about it out loud. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm really interested because I'm I'm still, I don't know. I'm still not 100%. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I am super interested to hear what you guys have to say about it. I'm also going to link a video that Sophie Shawhead did recently. You guys know I love her. I get a lot of my inspiration from her. She just put up a video recently about her experience with buying a fake bag from eBay. And she kind of touched on this whole microchip thing as well. I love her opinions on things, so I'm, I just want to share that with you. Yeah, let, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? Do you think this is just who cares? I don't know. Leave me a comment. I'll meet you guys down there. And that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!